based on feature requests, a number of new options have been added to the editing capability of our features from Dimensions. The first example we're going to look at is this threading operation. I'm going to play in 3D, and what you'll see is the typical threading operation that we see in previous versions of FeatureCam. Whilst we may be happy with the result, if we want to chamfer the front edge of this thread, we'd have to create a separate turning operation to achieve this. FeatureCam now has the option to actually add the chamfer operation into the, thread, uh, into the threading operation. So let's hide the previously selected item. Show this one, you can see the chamfer has been indicated at the front. If I go into the properties dialog and select the strategy, we can see that we've got chamfer checked in the operations. In this case, it's a 45 degree chamfer with a depth of 0.15 of an inch. If I re-simulate this, you can now see the chamfer is fully integrated into that single process or single feature as an additional operation. Another option that's been added is the ability to add a radius to a groove. So here you can see we've added the groove radius. In the past, what you would have seen is the chamfer option. So if I play this, you can see we get the chamfered edge on the groove. But if I play the radius, you see we get the radius option on both the leading and trailing edge of the groove. If I go into the properties dialog, you can see under the dimensions, we specify simply with a pull down box whether we want a chamfer or radius of both the leading and trailing edges of the groove. The dimension is indicated just as the chamfer was with this value here. This radius option also extends to cutoff operations. So here you can see we have the cutoff operation originally with the chamfer. And then we have the radius option now with the new setting to cut off the part. Again, going into the properties dialog, you see we specify with a pull down box whether we want to use radius or chamfer. Combining these features, we get a part that looks like this. Now these are all feature requests that have been highly desired by our customers. We've listened to those requests to produce the outcome that they want to see.